Or still in your in your house? It's a like a penthouse. Is it the top floor or it's um? It's uh, actually. I mean, here. Uh, I mean, in Europe, most of the buildings are not very high, so we live in uh, the second floor, and we have also the third floor because it's a uh, it's a duplex. So yeah. we have uh, we have also like a floor under. Oh, I see. So where is your piano on the that floor or the lower floor? No, it's under. It's under. Yeah, because oh. yeah, it's a bit complicated to bring it up. <laughs> so it. you can always play the piano anytime, like until late at night. I cannot really play until really late at night because uh, I mean I'm sorry for the neighbors. I don't want oh. to to disturb any of them. So I stop around like eight thirty, eight eight thirty in the evening. But I have the whole day to do something. Oh, in the morning, how how um, what time can you start practicing in the morning? Oh, I mean, uh, I think the neighbors are leaving quite early because they're still students, so we can start around like uh, I mean to be sure for the people to have time to sleep. So nine thirty, ten is fine. Oh, I see. Well, you have quite plenty of time. Yeah, like um, Marta Rakic, she lives in Brussels, also, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As well, yeah. I heard. I, I never. Lots of pianists them. live in Brussels, like in like kind of your house, like this, you know, where you can play the piano easily. It's uh, yeah, many pianists have been has been living in uh, in Brussels or in like uh, Brussels uh, environment. Uh, I even met like a few days ago uh, Abdel Rahman El Bashar. Uh, yeah, Bashar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is like actually living like 100 meters away from, oh. <laughs> from here, yeah, and we did never met in two years. Oh, really? So maybe all the older musician lives around you this area. <laughs> yeah, maybe, but I have many friends also living around. Oh, so how long have you been living in Brussels already? I've been living in Brussels for now a bit more than two years. Yeah, oh, two years and a half. Yeah. And how come you chose uh, this town? Because um, you want the Brussels uh, Queen Elizabeth. Uh, it was even, I mean, we moved with my girlfriend here uh, yeah. before the competition. Uh, yeah. uh, because we were both studying in the Queen Elizabeth Chapel, Music Chapel, oh, which is a school, you know, in, in Waterloo, the private school. And we <laughs> were both li living and, I mean, just doing the travel. I was doing the traveling, she was living in the yeah. chapel. Then at one yeah. point, we wanted to, uh, to get something together in Paris. It was a little bit complicated to find something quickly. At one point, we uh, we were like, okay, let's let's try to find something in Brussels. And I have to say, in uh, in a really short time, we found something amazing. I mean, the place where we are now for for more than two years. That's oh. why Brussels. <laughs> oh, is your girlfriend? Is she a musician? She's a pianist. Yeah. She's uh, also a musician, but she's a cello player. Oh, how lovely! It's nice to hear <laughs> cello cello tone. While you know, after practice, I think two pianists is quite difficult to live with. But maybe cello sound makes you like very calm and relaxing, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I feel like uh, having two pianists in the same place is kind of complicated because yeah, we need two I pianos, I guess. No way, no, it's enough. <laughs> One is yeah, enough. yeah, that's a good expression. It's enough. So, do you sometimes play like, a duo with your girlfriend at uh, a uh, concert? It happens that we sometimes we play together, and uh, so it really depends. But yeah, it happened. It happened a lot that we played together. Yes. Oh, how lovely! She's she's French or she's a uh, Belgian? No, not at all. Actually, she is. Uh, <laughs> I mean, she's kind of. I would say she's kind of a mix of a lot of uh, different uh, origins. She has. Um, is, her mom is Chinese. Her father is uh, from the U.S. Oh. Oh. And, uh, but she's born in Japan. Oh my goodness! So she speaks <laughs> Japanese. So she's half yeah. Arab, half uh, Asia. But does she speak Japanese? She speaks she speak Japanese. Yes, it's the first language. So she's born in Yamagata. Wow! So she speaks Japanese. <laughs> and she, of course, she speaks French and Flemish. No, she doesn't speak French. No, no, she speaks English, uh, Chinese, yeah. and Japanese. Wow! So wow! <laughs> so really interesting. Oh, so maybe one day we'll like to see her too. <laughs> yeah, just... yeah. I mean, she would really like to go back to Japan because she's been living there until maybe uh, for almost ten years when she was younger. Oh, so... oh until ten years old. She was born no, in Yamagata. I... Oh. She's born in Yamagata and she stays there for quite a bit of time. Yes, before. Yeah, think... Oh, because it's such a cold place in the north. Have you been there? Yamagata is a very Never. nice place. Never. I very heard cold. that. I heard of it very much, but I never went. And you know, I I heard lots of your YouTube, and you know, I'm a pianist myself, but I really enjoy the most uh, the Chopin. When you play Chopin, it's just so wonderful. 
the Chopin is just very, very beautiful. For me, just like Chopin was so beautiful. Yeah. Okay. And all the time when you're playing、uh, Chopin, the tonality, the, you know, the legato, and the sound is very, very beautiful. And one thing which was、uh, very interesting you studied with the Bridget Engler. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah. in Paris. In Paris. Yes. Yeah, because、I've、not many people really study. I don't think she had so many students. I don't think. Um, I mean, I know that she was a teacher in the conservatoire for a、yeah. while, but she、yeah. didn't have like a big class. We were、mm-hmm. like,、mm-hmm. as what I remember, we were half of a class, so we were maybe eight, eight or、yeah. nine. But、uh, she left too, too early. Oh, so how old were you when you studied with her? I started studying with her when I was,、uh, so it was from 2010. Oh. Two years. So,、uh, yes, I was 16. So, did you choose her? How, how did you meet her? Did you want to study with her?、Uh, at first, when I studied the conservatoire, I studied the conservatoire with Bruno Rigutto the first、yeah. year. I went to the conservatoire、yeah. in 2009.、Yeah. Then, when I was there for a year, unfortunately, Bruno Rigutto had to be retired. Yeah. So I had him only for a year, and he,、uh, for the continuation of my study, he suggested、hmm. me to go to study, study. For you to, to go study with Brigitte and Gerer when、mm-hmm. he liked her. That's how I've been introduced to her, and that's how I've been studying with her, actually. Oh, so,、uh, yes, because,、mm-hmm. because in Japan, not many people really know her. Not everybody knows Bridget Engler, Engler and、uh, not many people. I don't think she had much、uh, Japanese s t u d e n t No, I don't, I don't think so. And I, I liked her very much because I used to have a lot of、uh, her music, you know, record the CD. And、uh, what I like about her is, you know, she is very, very passionate. Yeah, you know? very. Very special passionate passion. I remember my favorite Uh, see, uh, record I had was、uh, this、uh, G minor sonata of the Schumann. You know, very, very passionate.、Oh, okay. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when, yeah, I heard I you, when I heard you, that something reminded her of her. Your passion is very, very, very straightforward, like a fire, which reminded me of her. And of course, I knew you said it. Maybe that kind of passion influence on your music? I mean, probably. I think she obviously she has been an influence on my playing when I was studying with her. Even if sometimes I feel like、uh, I was too young to,、uh, to enjoy the most、uh, lessons that I had with her, and I feel like sometimes I was a little bit too young to really、mm. understand anything that she wanted to,、uh, mm-hmm. to give me. But、uh, it's probably because I mean, it's been for the I've been studying with her only for two years, and during those two years,、uh, I mean, it's like,、uh, it was also like a difficult time for me. It was also the moment I had to pass by my,、uh, my exam at school.、Oh, and so、yeah. there were、like, yeah. many, many things around to do. And、uh, mm. I, I don't think I was the best worker at the time for piano. So I, I regret very often that I probably didn't listen even much more accurately what she、mm. was teaching、oh. me. Oh, how was it?、Oh, but、oh. I've, been, I've been very much influenced by, by what I remember, I, at least because there w a s also like many common things with some other teachers that I had that had、uh, the same teacher as her, which is my house. Yeah,、uh, yeah. I, I've been studying、uh, later with、um, Avo Kuyum Jian, who,、uh, who was the assistant of、uh, Louis Lorty in the Queen Elizabeth Chapel.、Oh, And、yeah. uh, when I was studying with him, I found Again, in his way of teaching many things that、yeah. Brigitte was、uh, kind of explaining at the moment I was with her. So I kind of found again something similar by his, on, on his teaching. And also,、uh, during the moment I was studying with Brigitte Gerer, I was also studying with another teacher. His name is Giselle Magnon, it's a French、hmm. uh, pianist. And、uh, I felt also when I was having lessons with both that there was something、uh, that was completed itself.、Uh, the things that Giselle was saying, I、mm. kind of found also kind of the same、uh, target point, I would、mm. say, like what they want, the result. Maybe not the same explanation, but I、mm-hmm. found something you know, into what they wanted to express with the piano. So,、uh, so, I kind of say that I had also many people around that were also going into the same direction, and I felt like I had really this、uh, 
I mean, I didn't have my head on one side or the other. I felt like it was mm -hmm. kind of clear the other way how, how we needed to practice and in what direction we had. So uh, so it was, in a way, very helpful. And in a way, even if I was too young, I remember many things that are very interesting. And uh, I still yeah. have some annotation on my score. And mm -hmm. that I will, or <laughs> I hope I will never lose it because it's very mm -hmm. helpful. Today. Yeah, because, I mean, she's very famous. So. Firstly, of course, as an artist and, you know, the student of Neuhaus, right? Because I used to have a friend, he's, he was a pianist, Andrei Nikolsky. I think he won the Queen Elizabeth a long time ago. I don't know, maybe second or third prize, this Russian pianist. And he was very good friend of Ang and Bridget Anger. So I heard a lot about her through him. And uh, then, of course, being that I really admire her music and it's really this fire passion is uh, what you have in your music. And that really attracted me the, very much, you know, in uh, being a, this is a Chopin, very sensitive, very lovely tone. But at the same time, you have this passion like her. So uh, do you play also any Schumann? Uh, Schumann, actually, no, I'm not playing any Schumann at the moment. I played really some, I, I, I mean, I played some pieces by Schumann a long time ago. I played one time the concerto. Uh, I always felt a bit afraid by this mm. composer that I really like, but uh, afraid why? Because uh, uh, I would really like one day to play the Kasayana. I would really like to play the David Benzler. It's like amazing pieces. Uh -huh. I have uh -huh. yeah. difficulty to try to find a way of understanding and to give a form to pieces with a lot of tiny pieces in the middle. For me, it's like difficult to give a form to that because it's it can be it's. It's so easy to get lost in those yeah. type of, you know, mm -hmm. Carnival Opus Nine. It's like uh, it's like a big story. It's a big. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's like uh, it's a big theater piece. Yeah. With a lot, a lot of different elements, and uh, I still feel like uh, it's kind of early for me to be understanding and the f and to find the perfect way to uh, connect all of this to. Uh, to just make one one mm. whole piece one form so uh maybe i will start by something else by schumann before the carnival opus 9 or david benster mm. or mm. maybe fantasy but uh i really would like to play some schumann i just need to find the right piece to start by but yeah, I play yeah. some music chamber of course i play some music chamber i play the two violin sonatas many times uh oh you mean schumann violin sonata Violin sonatas, yes, I played that. I played those two. Uh, the E minor one, yeah. It's so, so I love that piece, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and the second one, yeah. Second yeah, one. both of them. So, yeah. So, you yeah. know, I heard a lot. I really enjoyed all your Chopin, but now maybe why I also like to meet your Schumann world, you know? Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, and too. I heard your, your father is an organist? Yeah, my father was an organ player, yeah. He, oh, the pipe uh, he, stopped, organ. No, he, stopped, he stopped playing organ for 15 oh maybe, maybe oh. Even, so oh he used to play the big organ that it was it's uh stood in the oh <laughs> yeah he was uh um he was in uh play, playing um every sunday in the church uh yes every sunday morning uh every week for years and years and years and years and before that he studied also uh in the conservatoire uh all Again, a long time ago, uh, yeah. in Paris as well. He was, he was in the conservatoire in Paris. He was doing yes. some uh, analysis of writing mm -hmm. composition and uh, organ study, and um, that's how uh, that's how I guess I've been swimming mm -hmm. in music <laughs> thanks to him. So he, you wanted to study piano. Maybe you have influence from your father because he was a musician. Um, I mean, I had obviously an influence because he was a musician, but I didn't want at the beginning to, I mean, the piano was not the instrument I wanted to play at the beginning. Oh, I... what instrument did you want to play? <laughs> I wanted to, I was much more interested by trumpet or trombone. I love that. It's really oh, different. I see. <laughs> did you start? Did you start? So I didn't start by that. Uh, I started by piano i started playing piano but uh because my father said yeah if you want to play some trumpets or trombone you can do it later but first mm. it's good to understand like the harmony mm. and then in the form of the pieces it's much better to start by piano to have like a background and after yeah. Yeah, later, yeah. you can do some uh but so i was a bit of a rebel 
and I didn't really want to play piano because I was much more interested by the by the by the winds. But but later when I was studying in Germany, uh, I played um, trumpet. I studied trumpet and I played maybe for two or three years. So how old were you? Like a teenager? Or? I was eleven, eleven, twelve, maybe. Oh, for two. So you can still play the trumpet, of course. I did. I did. Uh-huh. I mean, it's been a very long time. I didn't practice, but... Uh, but <laughs> it's a very, very interesting. Remember, but, very, very uh, interesting. Very interesting. I because I, I understand because listening to you, you have a very sensibility of like a Chopin music, but something like this passion is straightforward. Maybe this kind of trumpet, um, you know, like it comes very straightforward from your breath, you know? So, yeah, maybe if you play the Shostakovich, the concerto for the first one with the trumpet beginning, with the, maybe it's uh, amazing. I mean, Shostakovich and Stravinsky and Miaskovsky, there was like those, the compositors that I was listening to at the same moment because I love listening to the symphony. Yeah. Uh, 11, I was listening like at any moment of the day I could, I was listening to uh, to oh. Shostakovich symphony or Miaskovsky or Feinberg. I mean, all of those Russian pieces mm-hmm. like, from the uh, century, I was really into it. And mm-hmm. uh, that's probably what made me want to, at this moment, learn even more the trumpet. But now mm-hmm. looking forward, I'm like, oh, I should have done some horn because I like, I really like horn as well. And uh, I'm like, horn, yeah. Same. Oh, it's the same oh. figure normally mm-hmm. and uh but i mean now it's kind of too late <laughs> I, will, I will never have time i don't have breeze anymore because oh, I mean, but, well, maybe just... but maybe as a hobby you know it's not like when you have a lot of stress you can just you know play the trumpet or form to you know this energy out of yeah. your body you know but at the moment the neighbors they still like me so i want that to continue this way and i don't want them to ah. but you have the instrument with you I don't have the instrument with me, no, and I'm not even sure the instrument is, uh, I've actually it's been a few years that I didn't find it, but it must be somewhere in my parents' home. I don't oh, know. What. Very interesting, yeah. Yeah, so the, your, your, your mother is a musician? She's a, does she play? No, my mother, my mother is a cleaning lady and a yeah. uh, baby. So she's not at all in the music world, but she is, uh, she was always a good um, influence for a lot of other things. Oh, very interesting. Yeah, 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 I see. And do you have any brother, sister? Yeah, I have one half brother and one half sister. But she oh. orders from one uh, from my father's first uh, wedding. So she's, uh, they are older than you? They are older than me, yes, they are twins. Uh-huh. And, uh, but they are not at all in the music world as well because he is, uh, I mean, she is working at home. Uh, yeah. And uh, he and and my brother is um, a carpenter, working oh. with my father also was a carpenter because my father, <laughs> when he stopped playing organ, started uh, doing carpentry. I mean, he was always a lover of carpentry. Okay. So for him, it was the moment to change. After he was retired, he was like, OK, I will stop mm-hmm. making doing organ because I, I really want to spend more time doing soft carpentry because he loved working woods making things with his hand and uh, yeah. and that's why he's been doing that and I guess this has been also something that my brother was always very interested by and that's why now they are working together. Yeah, so they are artisan, you know, they like to make with your hands. Yeah, yeah. You know, very interesting, mm. yeah, yeah, artist, really, oh, wow. So, <laughs> why not? I was really thinking, maybe you, the, you also, you play the Shostakovich Prelius one day, those, um, those bits, do you like the Shostakovich Preludes? Uh, Shostakovich Prelude, I never played, but what mm-hmm. I played is some Prelude and Fuga. Fug. Oh. Uh, Prelude, Prelude and Fuga. It was actually even a choice uh, because you know, for the audition in the Paris Conservatoire, we need to yeah. play either a Bach Prelude yeah. and Fuga or a Shostakovich Prelude and Fuga. And uh, for my uh, for my audition, I chose to change just to not have to play like, I mean, I, I played back, of course, I played many back yeah. Prelude and Fuga, but just for the exam, for the audition, I was like, I want to change. I want to try to play a Shostakovich because I like it and it's like yeah. interesting to play also. Very interesting. So oh. yeah, that's well, how I a couple of them. And I would like to play more of them. Really interesting. Much. So the exam, you can choose Bach or 
Shostakov is pretty new figure, oh, but that's yeah, an interesting. I mean, at the time thing. it was like at least, and that's why I, I, and I chose Shostakov just to have to change. And uh, now it's been a long time that I didn't play this one. I played the last one for the audition, and yeah. then I've been practicing some others that I never played in concert. But uh, let's see after because I, I don't know if I will play the whole, all of them because it's quite a bit. Oh, it's, oh, it's the first time I hear that the, that's a, the, the, the exam for the Paris Conservatoire. Did you the audition, say? the audition, the audition to to um, to enter. To enter the Paris Conservatoire. Yeah. Very interesting. So usually only behind. The first time I hear that you have the choice of Shostakovich's Prelude and Fugue. Or probably they want to see how you play the counterpoint, right? But exactly. it's a very, uh, uh, another good idea. Very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's, uh, I think it's still like that now, but I, I mean, maybe it changed. I, I have no idea. But mm. I, I feel like it was a really good idea to, to have some change. And since it's a fugue, I mean, I love fugue. I mean, that's maybe because of my father playing a lot of bar, playing a lot of like, yes, yes, fugue, yes, yes. So I guess that's yeah. why I always really like the form, the fugue, and uh, it's very, very mm. interesting to be working into a fugue. I mean, especially in this early age when I was like 13, 14 years old, yeah. started working that, which is a fugue, but not at all the same style as Bach but as interesting as well in a way uh, mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, how, how it's working i always uh, like to understand how things are working like uh, yeah structure like, yeah structure wise and all this so yeah. for me it was also like something amazing to discover at the time yes really much so you played the frank uh, choral fugue choral prelude and fugue also i practiced prelude choral and fugue uh, I practiced it a lot, but I never played it in concert. But oh. I played um, Prelude, uh, Prelude Fugue and Variation. Ah, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. one, the short one. Uh, this one I played it a few times. I really like it. And uh, Prelude Aria e Final. No, Prelude Aria e Final, there is no Fugue. No. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But yeah, yeah. I really would like to play it more, yes. I mean, uh, when I have time to practice it, I will play it for concerts. <laughs> yes, yeah. You know, not many play, play, you know, people play that uh, Frank, those pieces. So really, I like to hear that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he was very much played recently in 22 because it was the birthday uh, of uh, Frank. So many people played it at, in France, at least in France, in Belgium. Mm. It's, uh, it's a piece that many, many pianists play here. And yeah. uh, in like the, the following years, if people are if people are still going to play it, I mean it would be cool because it's a really nice piece. Yeah, exactly. What do you have behind you? Is this like a orange, uh, uh, yellow thing hanging? Is it uh, like a lemon? I see. Is it a plant? Ah, it's uh, it's a pot with for a plant. Yeah. Oh, because it's very nice. I I hear I see like a lemon, but very nice. No, no, it's uh, it's a pot with the plant inside, and the other one is a pot also. So, like, I mean, there are plants everywhere here. I mean, more more downstairs, but we like to have some plants. It's like uh, makes the flat fresher. Yes, <laughs> but actually, you know what? You can also look very oriental somehow. Me? Is your eyes black, <laughs> brown? Um, uh, I think. Uh, I mean, I've been doing <laughs> actually. I've been doing a DNA test because uh, since my mom has. Um, my mom has some African origins because my mom is not uh, not born in France. She's, she's born in uh, an island in between Madagascar and Mauritius. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, On the yeah. Reunion Island. Uh -huh. So my mom has uh, African blood, but I really yeah. wanted to know uh, how much percentage of what I have by doing hmm. the DNA test. And uh, it seems that I have like maybe like two or three percent from Philippines. Yeah, but that's I have like uh, two or three percent only, but at least. But I have like uh, actually, what's very interesting is my my girlfriend. Yeah. Who is half Chinese, half American? She yeah. is she has more French percentage than me. Oh, so it's like <laughs> opposite, opposite of you, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she has. Uh, she's twenty nine. I think twenty nine percent of French, and I have like twenty two or twenty three. But I have like a big part also of African uh, origins. From, uh, of course, cannot see it at all mm -hmm. on my face, but I have like twenty, uh, also twenty something percent. 
because of uh, I mean thanks to my mom and uh, of course obviously uh, I have French I have a bit of uh, south of France uh, mm. southwest of France like Spain yeah. and Italy a little bit and um, maybe the only things that I don't have is um, uh, Scandinavian mm. uh, no no no, no. Mm. the north and uh, mm. Uh, mm. Russia that's the only thing that I don't have, but I think like I have a lot of everywhere. Else. Yeah, because what came to YouTube, I didn't realize. But now, on, I I saw you for the first time here now, and uh, your eyes are brown. How, what color is your eyes? My eyes are brown. Yes, brown, black. Brown. Yeah. yeah. So like uh, now at this through this iPhone, you can really look also like a Philippine or like even Japanese, you know, or like a Hawaii and somehow, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, Polynesian, you know, like Asia. Yeah, yeah. so it's very international. So, so very interesting. So maybe like in your blood, like, you know, maybe you also like wonder like a Jamaica or like some kind of a <laughs> dance style music also. Have you ever played like a Cuban or somehow in like a island rhythm you know, dances. No, maybe. I mean, of course, I, I I heard some of it because I mean, I heard of it because uh, because of my mom. That's still the music that she likes to listen. Some yeah. uh, reggae, Sega, Maloya, yeah. from there. But I never play. No, it's more things that I that I listen once in a while when I'm <laughs> when I'm there. But it's not uh, it's not music that I play at the moment. No. Yeah, no. interesting. So, what is your hobby apart from you know when you're not when you are out of uh, practicing? What do you do? Oh, when I'm out of practicing, what am I doing? Uh, it really depends on the mood. I have many things that I can do. I mean, since we have like, uh, we have animals here, so we have... Oh, like what two, kind of animal do you have? We have two cats and yeah. uh, one, one ferret. Ah, <laughs> oh, ferret, that's a small one, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we have uh, all three living here. So when I'm not practicing, sometimes we're playing with them, and uh, sometimes what what else am I doing? I'm like can listen books, read books. I can also I like to do things also with my hands. So yeah. I like to I'm at the moment uh, when I have some time building a boat, uh, a small boat, a wood boat, a miniature. Uh, yeah. uh, so I'm still uh, still trying to do it. I started a long time ago, but that I really like to do it. It's a modelism. Uh -huh. And uh, what else? Uh, when it's when the weather is a bit better, because here in Belgium sometimes it's kind of gray. Uh, mm. We like to take the car and go have hikes, hiking in uh, in the middle of nowhere, yeah. where we can have some fresh air and try to. I mean, it's really nice to have a walk sometime to reset the brain. Oh, and, yeah, 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 yeah. What else? Uh, Oh, what am I doing sometimes? I mean, I like cooking sometimes. Yeah. Oh, what do you like to cook? So, do you what? What is a uh, Chinese, Japanese? What do you do? What do you eat at home with your girlfriend? So many international plates. So I have to say, I mean, at the moment, uh, I mean, I'm cooking under the supervision of my girlfriend. So she is telling yeah. me what to do exactly. So. I see. Then... <laughs> <laughs> so what? But... That she's a good. She must be a very good uh, cook. Oh, she is a very good cooker. So so does, she, she, uh, does she cook a Japanese food at home? Yeah, I mean, she has uh, she has many uh, uh, Asian uh, ingredients yeah. that she's using to, to cook. So I guess, I mean, to tell you, I mean, uh, uh, what did we prepare recently? Uh, oh, I mean, she's been making not so long ago, like some gyoza, but with the skin that she's making and with the food. Oh! Yeah, yeah, but that's because uh, her mom taught uh, taught her. Do also. you like and do you like gyoza? Yeah, I really love it. Do you it. like a boiled one or fried? Which one Sorry? do you like? Bo boiled gyoza or fried one with fried. oil? Fried. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm more fried person. Yes, I yeah. really good one. Uh, oh, oh, shabu shabu. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shabu shabu. Uh, Oh, like um, oh, or oh, Japanese curry. Japanese, yeah, 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 Japanese yeah. Curry with like with the chicken also, like yeah. uh, some fried chicken. Uh, things like that. And sometimes it's very it's many improvisation where you add sake or sushi. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, uh, 
it really depends but uh, and i've been trying to make uh one day <laughs> it was yeah. not the best success but um matcha ice cream oh. like in... yeah matcha, yeah 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 i, I didn't want to that. close but but <laughs> but i tried at least yeah i used to when i used to live in london i used to make that my friend uh, sent me the matcha powder and you better you buy a vanilla ice and you just put in you just mix in i used to freeze it Oh yeah, yeah. Just oh, so it makes it makes an ice cream. Yeah, but yeah, like, it's very with the uh, with the skin all around, you know. The, yeah. Uh, it's a uh, rice uh, rice flour, no? I think. Oh, I see. Rice flour that's a uh, uh, glutinous uh, kind of skin that you put all around, so it looks like uh, mochi. But mm-hmm. mochi mm-hmm. Is that. So that's what I've been trying, like uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago, and uh, <laughs> but I told you it was really difficult to close on the top, and I put yeah. too much. That, so you are so you're very professional. You know a lot about this, yeah. So maybe when you're touring, you're touring. When you tour, you have to eat outside. You must miss your girlfriend's uh, play, uh, you know, food. Oh, that all the time, yeah. But I have, uh, I have the. Uh, the chance that she is very often uh, making some rice balls to it's onigiri yeah yeah to uh, to go travel so i always have my rice balls before to go to the open very nice <laughs> so what does she put inside what does she put inside onigiri uh, it plum? depends what we made the day before but uh, so she's kind of using whatever whatever we have it can be yeah. um, you know fried um, shrimps yeah uh, tempura yeah. That she's cutting and putting yeah. inside yeah. with uh, yeah. or maybe a little bit of sauce. Uh, oh, and does she oh, put like oh. a nori, you know, the seaweed uh, around the rice bowl? Uh, it depends if we have it. Yeah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> it depends, depends if she found the right one. But yeah. uh, but put also like a, a powder on top and then sometimes, yes, the seaweed all around. If we have octopus sometimes, but, oh. uh, we also put it inside if we have it uh, but otherwise it's really whatever we have it can be pork if we made some pork belly the day before also yeah. we can just put the pork belly inside of the bowl and Wha- then close. wow you're very lucky to have her you know it's, you, you yeah, must eat know. always well <laughs> well bread yeah so yeah what? many things like that many good things yeah, and that's because maybe forward. the music you're very happy your stomach is very happy so your music is always you know <laughs> it's important to you know have a very healthy and a happy stomach i think to play well ah uh, yeah i mean my stomach is very happy my body sh- looks like he's happy but maybe i should be moving a little bit more at the moment now because i'm eating oh, too really <laughs> but i see you're very skinny in the youtube you're very skinny i think i, I uh, maybe after the competition i got a little bit bigger but i'm still not too big that's okay oh, really? <laughs> oh. and i like you very nice green t- t- sweater. The very nice Thank green. You. It's a uh, it's a gift also. It's a gift from, oh. from my girlfriend because she was tired of seeing me wearing always the same the Just. same clothes. So she bought me new. Well, I think your girlfriend has a very good taste in the clothes in the cooking. I like to see her. She's very she knows <laughs> you very well. Yeah, because that that makes you very. The green is very um, you know, like a between, like a dark, but you know, very thick. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I like it. It keeps me keeps me warm too. Yeah, uh, she has a very good taste. Very she has a very good taste. Yeah. So, well, so you you'll be coming to Japan ne- next year or next year you'll be coming or this um, year? Uh, no, next year. Next year, 2020, uh, 24. 24. 24. Yeah. So very looking forward. Would you play a concerto also? Or recite. Uh, I mean, for sure, there are reciters at the moment, uh, and for concertos, we uh, I guess uh, some things that still need to be confirmed. So uh, at the moment, is uh, recitals in January, but we still have time to see it coming. But yes, it's gonna. Come. I'm very very yeah. yeah. So in the end, could you like give us like a any message for the reader? What you what you thinking now? Do you have anything you want to say to our, our Japanese audience? It could be a message or something you like to to tell us. Oh, uh, I mean, I want to tell them that uh, I mean, thank you for accepting me there, and uh, thank you for for all of these nice vibes that they are always bringing to the to to 
to the concerts itself. I mean, I went to Japan only only one time. Mm. I went uh, there and when, when did I play? I don't remember what year, maybe 2017 or 18, and I played in Osaka. And I really enjoyed it, like the, the mood and the general like atmosphere mm. Of, mm. of the city and the people. That uh, I mean, even before I had the occasion to hear so much, my girlfriend saying, "Yeah, you will love Japan. You will oh. love Japan." And I, I really enjoyed it, and now I really want to discover it again. And uh, because I feel like I've I've heard of Japan, I've heard, I've been almost in a Japanese mood, thanks to my girlfriend for so long that that I need to be in the place where she grew up to even understand mm-hmm. more what, uh, what I just know by, but only theoretically. And so what I want to say mm-hmm. is. Uh, Thank you for making me enjoy this trip there, and I hope I will have time to uh, to stay quite a bit of time to discover more of what uh, of what I've heard. Yeah, and really, to listening to you, I think your gr- girlfriend has a very, very great influence on you. I mean, and very good <laughs> influence. Yes. Yeah, maybe this is a, like very fit that you know that you're together. For your music, for your life, and your, for your food, and I can feel that. And you, there's a lot, very, very strong connection between your girlfriend. How wonderful! Yeah, that is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think you always do. You don't get depressed ever, right? I talking to you. I think you're a very open character, very optimistic. You never depressed. Um. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not a depressed uh, person. I can be stressed mm. for sure uh, mm. with all what I need to prepare and uh, but uh, I try to manage my stress by trying to organize myself the best I can at least to about the, the piano piano world. I would be kind of more anxious to not be stressed before mm-hmm. the, you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like to feel this uh this feeling uh because i know it's always something that helps me to to go over what i want to express that's what helps me to express even Mm -hmm. myself so if i don't have it i'm i'm feeling uh i'm feeling more anxious in a way Yeah, so I'm really, very really looking forward to see you in Japan and to, to listen and your music also and to meet your girlfriend too. And to yeah, have a new world. Yeah, thank you very much for everything. Very interesting interview, very much. Thank you for, uh, yes. for the interview and I'm very looking forward to be coming and to meet you then. Yes, okay, so please take care and um, have a good practice today. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> say hello to your, to your cats, your animals. Yeah, I don't know where they are. I mean, one of them passed here like a couple of minutes oh. ago, but, uh, but they left already. I guess that's Okay. Well. So, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Thank bye. you very much. Bye-bye. Bye.